Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chase Center in San Francisco, California, and welcome to AEW Revolution. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the big feature match tonight at AEW Revolution. The world title on the line, and here comes the champion. MJF won the title at full gear back in November. And if I'm not mistaken, since then, he has defended the title only once against Ricky Starks at Winter is Coming. A part-time champion, if you will. Now making his second defense against Brian Danielson. And Danielson had to fight through opponent after opponent to become the number one contender. He has done so. And now he faces MJF, hoping to become AEW World Champion for the first time ever. Of course, this is an Iron Man match. A time limit, no matter what. We will go to that set time, and whoever scores the most pinfalls or submissions over their opponent wins the match and will be the AEW World Champion. MJF looking to retain, but he goes up against a man with a lot of experience. <clears throat> Excuse me. Brian Danielson about to make his way to the ring, a former world champion. He has performed in the main event of the grandest stage in professional wrestling. Now here in AEW, hoping to become a world champion once again. And as I mentioned, MJF made Danielson fight through opponent after opponent to get to the spot where he would be number one contender. He got this match, and he is here in San Francisco looking to take the title from MJF. This is going to be a good match. I don't know who's going to come away with the title, but we will find out here on the Be here on the Beagle Sports Network. Let's go down to the ring announcer for introductions between champion and challenger before this main event title match gets underway. Introducing the challenger from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 206 pounds, Brian Danielson. And introducing the champion from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 232 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, MJ. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Danielson versus MJF for the AEW World Championship. A beautiful belt on the line in tonight's main event. Fifteen minutes on the clock. Whoever scores the most falls in that amount of time will win the title. Of course, the real match will be 60 minutes, but we're shortening it for the sake of the attention span of both the viewers and the commentator. And MJF now getting some strikes in after a good start by Danielson. Big suplex. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now shots to the temple by Maxwell Jacob Friedman, one of the most egotistical wrestlers in AEW. Goes to the top, calling for Danielson to get up. Boom! Big, big strike, and now going into the cover, hoping to score a fall early, but Danielson will kick out at one. Just because you have 15 minutes does not mean you can afford to get lazy. And MJF now taking it to Danielson. Has him up against the, ropes, but against the ropes, but Danielson 
Now countering, big suplex there. MJF won the title with the help of William Regal, a great friend of Danielson's. Then, right after he won the title, betrayed Regal. It just proves that you can't trust this man. The AW World Champion as Danielson counters with a kick to the midsection. Now a suplex. MJF rolls away. And... No. Oh, okay then. Down goes Danielson and MJF now. Dragging his opponent away from the ropes. Looking to go for the cover. Not even one. Danielson able to kick out at zero. As the two men lock up again. Danielson with a suplex will get back into it. Two minutes gone, 13 to go. MJF down to one knee. Down to all fours, actually. Danielson, a very technical wrestler, as he lands a suplex. Oof. Now perhaps going for the label lock. No, just going after the arm. And we've had Iron Man matches in AEW before. In the early days, I believe it was Kenny Omega taking on Pac on an episode of Dynamite. But I do not believe an Iron Man match has ever main evented a pay-per-view as Danielson looks to score the first point here. Locked in tight on MJF, but the champion able to fight back. Clutching the leg, though, hobbling around. Danielson takes him down. Now the LaBelle lock in the center of the ring. Nowhere to go. Can't get to the ropes. He'll have to counter out or tap out. And somehow he finds a way to get out of it. Remember, Iron Man match. It doesn't matter if he taps out. It does count against him, but he still has time to get back. And now MJF looking to get some serious offense in. Got him. Cover on Danielson. One, two, no. Kick out at two. Almost had the first fall of the matchup. And could still have it. Going after the arm. Will Danielson be forced to tap out here? As we come to the four minute mark, 11 minutes to go in this match, MJF releases the hold, but the damage may already have been done. Big strike there, and now goes for the spinning fist, but Danielson will counter. Lifts his opponent up, and MJF able to counter. Into the corner, up to the top, and boom, what a leg drop by MJF to Danielson and he could have it here one two no a kick out at two still zero zero between these two men vicious knee to the face by MJF Danielson counters and now takes MJF down there's that technical style of wrestling coming back into play and here we go the yes kicks. Some will remember this. A bit of a blast from the past, if you will, as Danielson goes into the cover. One, two, no, a kick out at two. MJF still able to stay alive in this matchup and keep the score 0-0. Zero, zero. But how long will he be able to do that? Danielson going for something. MJF rolls through, gets back on his feet, and now... Going for the arm bar once again. Danielson might have to tap out here. He's really wrenching it. MJF for the first fall in this match. And it's 1-0 for the champion. Danielson taps out. But of course the match will continue. And MJF into the cover. One, two, three. Taking advantage there of an already damaged Danielson. Oh, the knee! The running knee to the cover. One, two, three. Two to one. Three falls in quick succession. Nine minutes to go 
here in this Iron Man match and Danielson is fired up despite conceding two falls in short order he could still come back and win the title here tonight of course if it ends in a tie I suppose that the champion retains that was not the case between Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels but we'll see if it is tonight MJF back on the attack oh going after the arm now and stomping the hand that just ugh, hurts to watch Danielson counters from against the ropes and disqualifications matter in this type of match as well as countouts but they will it's not a disqualification in the sense that the match is over but you will concede one fall as Danielson goes to the cover and a kick out at two by MJF so disqualification is just another point for the opponent same with a countout as Danielson looks to tie it up here LaBelle lock close to the ropes and I think MJF will be able to free himself here thanks to the rope break but Danielson continuing on the attack not letting that stop him oh big chop and now the strikes MJF against the ropes against the corner counters out with an elbow now looking to score another one got him to the cover one two no kick out at two and a half by Danielson still managing to fight back but MJF looking to make it three to one turns him around DDT and the cover three to one in favor of the champion and Danielson now even further behind as the clock continues to run down in this match Danielson trying to fight back two to tie three to win in six minutes can it be done I don't know power bomb off the underhook by MJF oh my I don't know I think Danielson took more damage from that but I on the surface it seemed like an attack on MJF bounced off the ropes now shots to the back from the champion less than six minutes to go here at Revolution the main event this the uh, 15 minute Iron Man match 60 minutes in real life oh oh missed that hand on the canvas and now uh, Brian Danielson with a suplex dragging his opponent away from the ropes perhaps going for a quick cover or a submission locked in now on MJF still kinda close to the ropes there but will he tap he will and it's three to two just like that and with five minutes to go Danielson continuing the attack trying to make it three to three it would be quite the comeback if he were able to but MJF counters now and he might have the upper hand once again in this match here we go turns him around into the DDT and Danielson now busted open into the cover by MJF and he kicks out maintaining the one fall gap with four and a half minutes to go here tonight <clears throat> excuse me Danielson takes down MJF oh there it is running knee to the cover ropes will save the champion but Danielson is fired up going to the middle now boom, boom. got him and now to the cover 
One, two, three. Three all between MJF and Brian Danielson. Gonna be quite the finish here tonight. Under four minutes to go in this Iron Man match for the AEW World Championship. MJF, oh! I don't think the referee saw that as MJF goes into the cover off the low blow. Four to three, and he is crafty, shifty, does not have much respect for the rules. And continuing now, the attack on Danielson. I have a feeling that the champion will retain. Just over three minutes to go, and MJF once again turns Danielson around. DDT to the cover. Will the ropes save him this time? They will not. Five to three, MJF. Danielson struggling, trying to struggle to his feet, but uh, the key word there is struggling as MJF goes for the arm again and just continues here. Running knee! And MJF busted open now. One, two, three. Five to four. Two thirty to go. Under two minutes and thirty seconds in this match. We could still see a victory for Brian Danielson. But he's going to have to move quickly. Up to the top. High risk, high reward. Oh. Cover. One. Two. Three. Five to five. <clears throat> Excuse me. And just like that, we're all tied up. Less than two minutes to go. This may be one of the most dramatic finishes to an Iron Man match in the history of professional wrestling. Danielson rolls away. Float over. DDT. What next? MJF trying to roll away. They have not exited, exited the ring at all in this match. They have kept it in the ring for the entire time as Danielson locks in the submission and he could have it here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Will MJF tap? Looks like Danielson has released the hold but now goes for the cover. One, two, three, six to five. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Try to tie it again. One, two, three, six to six, just like that. MJF turns the tables, but as he showboats, Danielson gets back to his feet. What a match. Under a minute, six to six. Twelve falls between these two men. And right on the apron there. The hardest part of the ring, they say. This is going to be quite the finish. And I have a feeling they'll finish things on the outside. Fifteen seconds. Six to six. And I believe that this is just devolved into a brawl. Three, two, one. And ladies and gentlemen, a draw here tonight. MJF retains the world title. And from AW Revolution in San Francisco, California, the Chase Center, we bid you good night. Six to six, a draw. MJF retaining the world title thanks to that roll-up.